We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. Hi, I'm Nick Jr. with First Updates Now. I'm here with Isaac, Kara, David, and Michael from uh, University of Dayton, RI3D. Um, and we're here at the first alumni collegiate competition. They're going to talk a little bit about the robot that they built in three days. Isaac, you want to start us off? Yeah, so uh, the most defining feature, at least to me, is our all Lexan construction. Um, the main reason that we did all Lexan construction is that uh, the team that we operate out of has a large uh, polycarbonate sponsor. So we use a lot of their Lexan because it was easy to machine and we had access to it. Um, so our entire drivetrain is basically a Lexan version of the Andy Mark version, uh, just with a couple modifications to make it easier to bend and stuff. Um, between the end of Robot in Three Days build and here we did a lot of stress testing to it. Uh, we rammed robots into it, we dropped it, and it, it uh, passed everything except for dropping it from a two feet height twice. So we're hopefully confident that it'll, it'll not die during this competition. Uh, see, another thing that we did uh, is we have this high gold shooter. We have uh, about two inches of compression and it shoots a nice rainbow shot that we're really happy with. Hopefully it'll show up uh, when we actually compete. So in terms of getting the balls up to the shooter, we first have to intake them, which we have a passive intake. So this will just drop down at the beginning of the match. So that way we can take the balls in and get them up to our actual indexer, which has the capability of holding up to five balls if we're using the intake as holding one. And then that just feeds them right up to our shooter. So we have a solid shot every time. Uh, another subsystem we have is our climber. So what happens with our climber, it's powered by this arm, it's powered by this window motor. It swings up and latches onto the bar. We then wench it up over here, which is powered by a 775 Pro. And that'll, then our rope is looped through the center of our robot so we'll climb somewhat straight up. Yeah, so our expectations going into today's competition. This is our first year as a team working through Robot in three days. So our only expectations are really, you know, go out, shoot around a little bit, have some fun, hope to climb a couple times, and don't break. <laughs> Absolutely. So I would like to thank my folks here from the University of Dayton RA3D, and I'm Nick Jr. reporting for First Updates Now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.